Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the September Fright Crate, which I'm excited to open because I'm always excited for the Fright Crates because I like them. Uh, a few things to say, you may end up in the background hear some piano playing. That's my neighbor because I live in a townhouse and when you share a wall with someone who has a piano push right up against it, that's what happens. So sorry if you end up hearing that, but bear with me. I just want to make sure this freight crate gets unboxed as soon as I got it because I just got it. And my cat might show up because she's been milling around. She's weird. All right, so for the uh, quote, we have, Like comedy, horror has an ability to provoke thought and further the conversation on real social issues. Jordan Peele. Yes, that is accurate. And that's actually something that's been... Let me fix this lighting a little bit. Come on. Okay, well, whatever. We're, we're fine. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's actually something that I've not just heard Jordan Peele say before. I've actually heard a lot of people in the horror community make those types of comments. Not necessarily say exactly that the way he said it, but uh, it's totally true. And that's one of the things I love most about horror and horror films. And the horror community, because they get it. Alright, so let's get into this. I don't remember any of the, the franchises for this uh, month. Um, I end up forgetting these things kind of fast. Hopefully my cat grabs that to play with. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the shirt right off. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Okay. Oh, man, this is cool. Okay, once again, I assume it's, uh, was it Nick Cave? I'll, I'll find out. But Nick Cave, I think, is the guy who does, who is doing these um, designs. Uh, it. Chapter 2. Or part, yeah, Chapter 2. That's right. I was going to say Part 2? No, Chapter 2. Look at that. So it's got the grown-up versions, Pennywise, obviously. Yeah, and I love how it's like the loser-lover thing. That's really cool. I really like that shirt. So I went up. It, it may look a lot bigger. I went up a size because some of the larges, like, they're not all consistent, and that's kind of just how shirts are in general and shorts and pants and everything. So uh, I went up a size is why it looks a little bit bigger. I went to the XL instead of the large. The other ones fit. They're just a little snug, so I'm trying to figure out where my sweet spot is, you know? Okay, so we got a... Uh, oh, yeah, there was supposed to be a random inserted Blu-ray. So let's go ahead and see what that one is. Um, Silent ha Ooh, okay. I don't know. Silent House. So it makes it sound like maybe a haunted house thing. I'm not huge in a haunted house stuff. It's got Elizabeth Olsen in it, though, as... Most people know her as Scarlet Witch in the Marvel films. Um, inspired by true events. That makes me want to watch it even less, to be honest. Um, Elizabeth Olsen stars in the suspenseful edge-of-your-seat thriller presented in real time as one shocking, uninterrupted shot. Oh, wow. Well, that's impressive. When Sarah finds herself sealed inside her family's secluded lake house with no contact to the outside world, panic soon turns to terror as events become increasingly ominous. Um... Yeah, I mean, it looks like it, it's, it's like a haunted house dealy there. Sorry for the glare. It's, yeah. Um, I like the idea of the one continuous shot because that is tough and not a whole lot of people do that. So I, I do kind of now feel like I want to watch it just to see how that plays out. Love me some film. Okay, so the next thing. Oh, it, it looks like, oh, oh, this is cool. Okay, so we had gotten one of these. Actually, you can see right back here, right there. It's like that little cardboard stand-up thing, and that was for um, Nightmare on Elm Street 3? Yes, 3. Um, so we got one for Stranger Things as well. That's super cool. So maybe I'll put that over here on top of my DVDs there with hockey player Braden Holtby and a little kid right here, a little kid pooping, literally squatting down and pooping. It's a thing from Spain some people brought back. But I like these things. I think these things are cool. And, like, the cardboard is, like, thick enough that it's, like, pretty sturdy. So that's cool. I like that. I like it. I'll go for the pin now. Nice. Cool. Uh, I like Saw. This is from Saw. I like, um, I like Tobin Bell, as you can see. Decent. I mean, it's, here's the problem. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to make people, like, specific celebrities look like themselves in pins like this. So, not bad. Not, like, it doesn't look exactly like him, but it's hard to do that. So, you know, not bad. Uh, but I like it because it's Saw. And I like uh, Tobin Bell. I think he's pretty awesome. And I, I've said before on some of my videos, I've met the guy. Super nice. Fun to talk to. 
And then I guess that leaves, yep, the uh, Cereal Resin Co. item. Doo -doo -doo, which are always amazing. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so 13 ghosts. Um, there you go. I don't know, is that going to be okay? There's some nipple action going on there. Oh, well, sorry, YouTube. It's not like I was monetized anyway. <laughs> I don't make any money anyway. Like, this is... Yeah, so this is the, um, what do they call her? The, uh, in 13 Ghosts, she's known as, I can't remember, the Tortured Princess or something? Or, or is that the, there's like the, the Fallen Prince is one of them. I think she's like the Tortured Beauty or the, the Tortured Princess. It's actually been a while since I've watched that. But, um, yeah, that looks really good, as I assumed it would. I'll put that out and put it out over there with my other ones. I have the Jin from um, Wishmaster and Shorty, the clown from... Uh, killer clowns from outer space so she'll go with that crew so then now i'm just gonna read the little oh and they have your little instructions on how to do your little stand-up thing which you know some people might need that it's kind of under a part of the box so a little hard okay here we go so modern horror was what this theme was for september 2019 Exclusive 4-inch Angry Princess Bust. Angry Princess. I don't think that's what she was called, though. 4-inch uh, bust based on this iconic character from 13 Ghosts. Brought to you by Serial, Serial Resin Co. Um, exclusive Losers Reunite shirt. Artwork via Frequent Freight Crate Collaborator Max Cave. Sorry, I said Nick Cave. That's, that's a band. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Sorry. Max Cave. Sorry about that. The stunning design will make you float. Yeah, it's a cool design. Blu-ray, assorted Blu-ray. So some of the other ones you could have gotten that they named here. Jack Brooks Monster Slayer. I own that. Devil's Candy, which I've heard is good. Cabin Fever Patient Zero, which I've heard is not good. The ha the Hallow, which I have seen and was okay. 13, 13, 13, which I have not seen. And Silent House, which I have not seen. And The Howl, which I have not seen. So um, I'll check that out. At some point, exclusive Stranger Things standee, 8x10 standee inspired by the Stranger Things poster, Demogorgon not included, thankfully. <laughs> and then exclusive Kramer pin, 1.75 inch soft enamel pin for everyone's favorite sadistic mastermind, double clutch, game over. Yes, awesome. Cool, so uh, once again, another good one. I don't, I'm going to say it's not my favorite. But part of the reason for that being that, like, my fandom of these particular franchises isn't as strong as it has been for a lot of the past boxes. Because I'm more into, like, older horror, like, 70s, 80s, 90s horror. Like, I like, I, there's some newer stuff I intensely like, but it's a lot less. Like, my real sweet spot is 80s, so, yeah. But anyway, um, before I read the um, franchises for next month... If you don't want to know that, you can sign off. But first, hit that subscribe. Give me a little bit of help with this. Uh, I don't make any money on this. I'm just spending money doing it and putting it out there for people to see. So if you could just help me out by doing that subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything. And it's very quick and painless. But if you do want to give me a little bit of money, if you just want to throw me like $1 a month, I do have a Patreon page. And I'm mainly gearing that towards my movie reviews. So you can just go to Patreon and search my name, Carlin Cook, or you can search... Horror movie reviews with Carlin Cook. Give me like a, a dollar a month. I would appreciate that. Or if you if you don't even want to do that, just give me that subscribe. I would appreciate it. Anyway, uh, so sign off if you don't want to know what next months are. So for October, it's their third anniversary, and they're going to have Evil Dead 2. Very excited about that. Halloween, also excited about that. Elvira. I mean, she's a cool person. I've heard some really good interviews with her. But, like, her character, like, I'm whatever on her character. I like Cassandra Peterson as a person. She's very interesting and, and cool. She's a, she actually dated uh, Elvis for a while. I don't know if people know that. Uh, and Psycho. Awesome. I enjoy Psycho. I actually just saw Psycho, the original Psycho, for the first time about a year or so ago, maybe? Yeah, somewhere in there. And it is... I mean, people always talk about how beautifully done it is, but, like... The way Hitchcock did the use of light and shadows, which he did that a lot with his stuff, but just amazing. Anyway, um, once again, thanks everyone for checking this out. Please put some comments down there. Uh, did you get this box as well? If so, what were your thoughts on all these items? And even if you didn't get the box, uh, what were your thoughts on these items? Because obviously you just saw them. 
I should have thought of that before starting to say that. But uh, yeah, once again, hit that subscribe. You can do the likes if you really want to, but you don't have to. But anyway, thanks so much. Until next time, keep it brutal. And thank you, Freight Crate. You're awesome.